You say grift, but I hear projection. Facts penetrate that ass, no protection. Ugly free to play cannot save. Dance, dance, revolution on your grave. Modern audience jumps off the map. So inclusive, nobody can fap. Eight year, ten day robot pronoun. Fat pansexual concord shut down. 200 million down the drain. Forced adversity, feel the pain. She wank chung, don't understand the power of the sun in the palm of my hand. No, you don't pass. Access denied. 200 Concord Dillion must die. Into your slop, I will not buy. Newsflash, Sony, I'm not a gay guy. You lost control, tried to force silence. Play victim, then claim violence. DEI made everything offensive. It poll rejection might be ex. Expensive, sensor stellar, four square design, ignore the player's interest declines. Shut down slow mode, mute replies, I don't think you realize. Hello, beta testers. Like and subscribe to join over a hundred and five thousand celebrating that the fun police, Sony, have been forced to listen. For a change. <laughs> They're so eager to lock the comments and get right back to preaching to you. The transparent pandering is meant to make you whoop and holla, cheer for representation, even if it's bad representation, the kind that might make people more racist and, and bigoted, which is more times than not what you're gonna get because diversity boxes being checked took priority over hiring based on merit so the overall quality suffers in a way that's consistent enough to have conditioned audiences to suss out woke in whatever way is effective for them. Sex sells. It is not a complicated statement to understand, but one of the things that woke does is view sex in the only relevant man-woman context as offensive. It reinforces what is literally referred to as norms, and they got a big problem with that. They're desperate to change norms and re-educate people, to rewrite history, a uh, new normal, if you will. So this cults, queer or safe horny a laughable kind of contrast to what, what we might normally again this is all new speak from their new dictionary where racism has a different meaning and woman has a different meaning all of this shit is easy to decipher for a normal person at a glance you know i am hetero enough to let you know how hard this shit is telegraphed debt woke shit tm is easy for us to <laughs> sniff out with Concord, these activists are desperate to convince you that DEI is not the reason that it, okay, you know what I mean? So the gaslight didn't work out, and in some cases they were so sure of their stance that they're inadvertently sharing things that clued normal people into the fact that they were definitely deliberately uglying up these women, uh, sanitizing because of their sensitivities, their hilariously anti-straight, anti-white, and even anti-Asian rhetoric proudly parroted by grifters who, it's plain to see only now in retrospect, were projecting that racism, that sexism, onto us in the middle of your racketeering because if they don't do what you say you need to terrify them as Kim Belair of Sweet Baby Inc says into getting your way. Woke goes broke because it gets in the way of the selling part <laughs> and there is no sex. So DEI is not regarded as business critical because it's factually black and white, no pun intended, in the way of profit. And for so long, too, you really got away with it. Eight years. Eight years they've been working on this Concord game. Online, I'm used that they couldn't get away with swapping women into a sports game and maybe giving them an advantage to make them better than the men. Have all these lectures where they're talking down to the men in the cutscenes and shit. You know why? Because that would compromise sales. 
why they think they can force this hard after the MCU blunders, after the force is female, I have no idea. But you and I can wait them out for the year or more that it'll take the market to get the picture. Since, again, I'm forced to thank the shills for indicating their knee-jerk, approved narrative of it totally not being DEI, I've looked across the internet, and unfortunately, the people who struggle communicating and reaching, relating, identifying with real people in the one language that you speak, you don't speak for everybody else. And in fact, some of you are reading as gay with respect to how you live your life, and most of us are not gay. You don't speak for us. And if the whole studio is gay, and you're selling to a majority audience of straight people, I think I've made my point. Let me wrap it up as Jeff Keighley might say. Shout out to Jeff Keighley. Wondering which sweet baby representative will come out on stage this year. Here are 10 upcoming woke games flopping for a modern audience. Number 10, Ark Raiders. Maybe I didn't get the chance to talk a little bit better about what DEI looks like, but I'm just gonna have this scroll up the screen really quick on something completely and hilariously unrelated. And then I'm gonna say that one image kind of gave away who we were dealing with behind the scenes at this studio making this Arc Raiders game. So even though, because it's free, it'll make something in the way of an audience, what are you gonna be selling to people, especially if it's free, when your characters look like this? Certified Woke! And that's a hell nah from me, buddy. Number 9. Dune Awakening. Can I just say ditto? How much of your time do I need to waste here? What, what, what did I keep saying? You can telegraph? Oh, that's a lot of that one hairstyle. Oh, I'm, you know, I, I've been watching the wrong TikToks. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, it's woke. Number 8. Silent Hill 2. Man, is this a PowerPoint presentation? What do I even need to show you? Because because Woke's in a fight with the sex. <laughs> do I think Silent Hill 2 is going to be a flop? No, I just think it'll disappoint everybody who spends their money on it. I hope to be wrong, but you can leave your own flop prediction comment below. Number 7. Fable. What a sad situation that was. But it was the beginning and a necessary part of us getting to where we got now. Think about Fable then, and think about Concord now. You think they gonna learn a lesson? The answer is no. Number six, Vampire Bloodlines 2. For the people who know, my woman included, she's not. <laughs> oh man. Good luck. I'm so sorry this had to happen to y'all. Maybe one of you needs to just figure out, wrangle up the autists in that Vampire Bloodlines community and, and make a better game. Because whatever they're gonna make, man, it's gonna be whack. Even, even for y'all. I'm not saying that you're like hyper nerds or something. <clears throat> Number five, Dragon Age Veilguard. Yeah. <sighs> I hate to reduce a lot of these games to just a picture that I found, but... There's a chance that gender men, sir, you know, queer -o would, okay, man, and we respect that, but we do not have confidence that any of you can keep it out of the video games, because even a Halo producer nowadays is allowed by Microsoft to just crap in the bed for years and years and years and years and years, when that entity has a big problem with guns and I can't separate the fiction from reality. I've seen more versed, which is to say more educated news reporters trying to skew Grand Theft Auto as exclusively a woman violence simulator 20 years ago. And now the out of touch wankers are making the video games? You got a woke problem, brother. And we could taste it from the outside. So I guess the walkthroughs y'all do in the studios are just to make sure that the flags are coating the fucking walls in these bitch. And that's cool, too. But we don't want that shit. 
Number four, avowed. Huh? <laughs> Did you see it? <laughs> Look, I should just be leaving Xbox games to fuck up off this list, but come on, man. Fable with that face and avowed with it's like, uh oh, uh oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. Ooh, man, <laughs> how quaint. Good. Good for you, bro. No hot women either. Shio. Give your game a chance. Do touch you want to give it a chance. Number three. Unknown Nine Awakening, the Sweet Baby Inc. game, and South of Midnight, a Compulsion Games joint. Maybe you remember Compulsion Games for all the agreeing they were doing during the Right New History Sweet Baby Apocalypse. They were retweeting apologies for the Lara Croft that everybody liked because Crystal Dynamics just gotta apologize for the past. We don't represent pretty women anymore. We know how offensive Lara Croft was. All the cultural damage she did back when we liked her and she could go around the world because a pretty woman with a you know, oh fuck man that's the like I said that woke shit man they're gonna get right in the way of that it's not DEI though right mm, it's not woke it's not that oh it's not that forced you put that fat person in there you put those fat people in the video game fat person one not okay enough fat people multiple fat multiple wheelchair somebody's missing a limb. Uh, can we get a little bit of Illigo? You call this inclusion? You call this representation? Uh, hello? Number two. Fair games. Seems like everybody finally got the memo on this game that I've been running my mouth about. So, if they're making their little videos, then who am I to get in the way? Another dog water bucket of fucking who asked for this kind of game. And you need to understand that it should really offer something. But it's not gonna. So, it's just another concord situation and maybe when that thing crosses the finish line is a term that i'm sure the development will will use they'll still be saying you know it was a miracle that this game even got out because that's what the concord devs are saying how it was like legendary that they shipped it at all as if the developers found the game broken and just tried their best because they brought up the coof as if that only affected them because they're the only ones who work entitlement we should just have given our money to them right i you know good luck to these people Number one on this list is Marathon. Behind the scenes, troubled. Troubled, all right? But my favorite, can I, can I, hang, can I hang it on something? My favorite is after a play session, and again, I was careful to say that it was early, so, you know, these things happen, sure, but listen how it sounds. As it pertains to this game, that's definitely gonna get delayed for from its no date that it has <laughs> okay when they asked people after a play session if they would play this game if it came out tomorrow raise your hand none of them raised their hand and that's why it's number one on my list okay the bungee that would make a cortana that's the one y'all need not whatever's going on now okay yeah I'm a guy who might have played a Spider-Man live service, but y'all canceled that, baby. And you know what? I don't want it from Insomniac either. We want it from an Eastern developer so that they can make the characters as delightful and not only favor a specific gender as, all, as First Descendant characters. First Descendant, the game they rated a 5 that actually survived more than two weeks. Unlike the 7... That IGN said, to, oh, instantly, instantly, what was it? Charismatic? Instantly charismatic? Instantly charming or some shit like that? Instantly charming. Top charming. That's what you need. That's what you don't have. So, everybody, I apologize. This is really getting on there. And I thought I was pretty quick about it anyway after running my mouth in the beginning of it. I, I love you. If you feel that I've missed out on some things that I should definitely have included because, you know, I, I thought I'd stick to something relatively high profile for this list, then let me know in the comment section and maybe we can mix up another video. Uh, to the big titty beta testers, I need you guys to tell me, man, should I review Space Marines 2 
As a matter of fact, I'll leave a comment in the comment section and then I'll reply twice. I'll reply once with yes and once with no. Go into the comments, I'll pin my comment. If you think yes, I should review and gauge how woke the Space Marines 2 game is because we just saw something called Tithes where there's like a lady whatever where there previously were none and I know people were upset about that. I'm not into the Warhammer stuff. Um, so just vote yes or no below. If any of you'd like to support, the links are in the description. And I thank the patrons, supporters, and specifically Nerdaholic, who recently made a life-changing contribution to this channel with an Alienware computer that I will be setting up, and hopefully that doesn't take too long. I thank you from the bottom of my heart, and we're going to figure out what we can do to kind of, I don't know, give him something entertaining, whether that's playing a game or something like that. And I'm sure some of you are rolling your eyes going, oh, like, Kyle will make it through a whole game. I'm sure I can do it. <laughs> no matter how long it takes, I can do it. We don't want these people to lose their jobs, man. But, you know, you can tell by how spoiled and entitled they are online that these entities would sooner throw their colleagues under the damn bus and, you know, drag any studio down than relent in the injection of themselves into what might actually have been profitable if they had just just wow just stop just stop i recommend this video if you haven't seen it yet and i plan to watch it on stream if you want to just save save the reaction or whatever for them love you talk to you soon